This video will show how to convert groundwater elevation data into 3D potentiometric surface models. One method involves adding groundwater elevation points to the data sheet. Next, the XYZ to Grid program is selected from the ModOps Grid Create menu. Then, select the data sheet columns that contain the XY and groundwater elevation or Z data. Then, specify the name for the potentiometric surface grid model. In regards to the modeling algorithm, we suggest that you start with a second order polynomial. Select the Options tab and enable the High Fidelity filter. This will adjust the surface generated by the second order polynomial to honor the control points. Later on, if the output does not look reasonable, you may need to experiment with other interpolation algorithms such as Krieging. Finally, select the 2D and or 3D grid output options to view diagrams based on the potentiometric grid model. A more flexible method for generating potentiometric surfaces is to enter the water level data as depths into the Borehole Manager Water Levels table. This allows for additional related data such as the depth to the base of the aquifer, if available, the name of the aquifer, and the sampling date. Now, select the grid-based model program from the Borehole Operations Aquifers menu. Select the Aquifer of Interest. Click on the Time Filter tab and specify either the desired sampling date or a range of dates. Set the output options, click the Continue button, and a 3D model of the aquifer will be displayed. To show just the potentiometric surface, select the aquifer from the data listing, disable the base and sides, and adjust the color scheme if desired. Be sure to check out the XYZ and Grid Animation programs within the Animate menu to create time-based 3D potentiometric surface animations.